at six, playing basketball for peace, a unique tournament celebrating its 10th year. The whole idea is to have Boston teens meet police officers on the basketball court instead of in a courthouse. And there was a very special message from a young woman who survived a bullet when she was just three years old. About 100 young people from nine schools and organizations filled the basketball courts at UMass Boston. Some of it was just vacation week fun, a chance to meet other kids from other parts of the city. But it was also a chance to meet police officers, prosecutors, and other authorities. In an environment that was friendly and open, and you could look to us, I hope, as, as friends and someone that might help you. Suffolk County DA Dan Conley runs the program. We think it's a, it's a, a very nice vehicle to keep kids uh, connected to one another and hopefully on the straight and narrow. The main speaker was Kylie Harriet, a senior in high school now but who was just three years old when she was hit by a stray bullet while sitting on the porch of her home. She and her mother famously forgave the man who fired the shot and put her in a wheelchair. All of you guys are brave and you're strong and that you have a lot to offer yourself and your community. It's a very torn relationship between authority and, and young kids of color. I definitely think that it's a starting place and I think it's important that to let these kids know that someone cares. Kai received an award for her activism and so did several others involved in community service including our own Paul Burton who accepted a lifetime achievement award for his family's work with the Ron Burton Training Village. Mm. Congratulations to Paul and Kylie plans to go to college in the fall and study animal science. So hard to believe that she's 18 now, but she has been a very special person she has. since she was just a little girl. And to see that smile today, it's great. She's a very charismatic spirit. Yeah. Beautiful story. Mm -hmm.